Hello and welcome to our simple Christmas, Christmas Eve service. I just want to spend some time with you in this service, focusing our hearts and our minds on, well, I'll steal the phrase, the reason for the season. I want to spend some time focusing on Jesus as we place him at the centre of our lives and our activities. So let's come in worship and sing a carol together. So I invite you to sing with me the recording mixed from many of our church number. This is Hark the Herald Angels Sing. pray together. So Lord Jesus, we thank you that we come on this Christmas Eve to worship together. Although we are scattered, we come united in heart and mind to focus on you, Lord Jesus, to celebrate the good news of your birth. Be with us in this time together now, I pray, and speak into our lives and hearts, for we ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 7, the birth of Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, 
and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the child to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. Advent is all about waiting. Historically, the nation of Israel had been waiting. It had been 400 years since Isaiah announced a promised Messiah from God. And so they were looking constantly for God's promised one to arrive. Do you know, in more modern times, Advent is about preparing and waiting for Christmas through December. We often begin it with readings of the Annunciation. That's when the angel visited Mary. Uh, and we go through in that month, don't we, to tie, nine months later when Jesus was born. Nine months can seem like a long time. Nine months ago, as a nation, we went into our first lockdown. Nine months ago, as a nation, we went into waiting. Waiting for a vaccine. Waiting for hope. Waiting for an answer to COVID-19. Now, nine months later, later, hope is here, isn't it? There's a vaccine being distributed. Hope comes in a small bottle. Hope of a return to normality. Hope of restored relationships and, and activities. And, and tomorrow we're going to celebrate the birth of Jesus. And in that simple birth of a baby who lays in a manger comes hope. Hope because in a simple birth comes the message that we've looked for in our own lives for nine months. The hope that we are not forgotten by God. The hope that we are not abandoned by God. And so in the birth of Jesus, we are reminded that Emmanuel, God is with us. In fact, although we speak of this hope at Christmas, the truth is God never left us. God has never given up on us and he's never stopped loving us. Whatever our situation, whatever your situation, God does not give up on you. And so hear the news of a simple birth because the child who is born will grow to become a man and one day the straw of the manger will be changed for a crown of thorns and the wood of the manger will be exchanged for a cross. And so let's get excited. Let's get excited about tomorrow. Let's get excited to remember the simple birth that brings for us so much hope. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, on this Christmas Eve, as we stand before our day of celebration of your birth, thank you that hope is with us, that you have not abandoned us, that you have not forgotten us, and that in Jesus we have new life. Thank you for the hope in a birth 2,000 years ago that still impacts our lives today. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. Since the day the angel came, it seemed that everything had changed. The only certain thing was the child that moved within, on the road that would not end, winding down to Bethlehem. So far away from home. Just a blanket on the floor of a vacant cattle stall. But there the child was born. She held him in her arms and as she laid him down to sleep. She wondered who it always be. So bitter and so sweet. And did she see that? 
straw by his head a thorn And if she smell mud in the air on that starry night In the words of ancient seers tumbled down the centuries A virgin shall conceive God with his prince of peace Man of sorrow, the strangest name Oh Joseph, there it comes again So bitter yet so sweet And did she see that In the straw by his head a thorn And did she smell mud in the air on that starry night And did she hear angels sing Not so far away Till at last the sun Rose like red in the morning sky And as she watched him through the years, her joy was mingled with her tears. She's feel it all again, the glory and the shame. And when the miracles began, she wondered, who is this man? And where will Against the darkening sky, the sun she loved was lifted high. And with his dying breath, she heard him say, Father, forgive. And to the criminal who sighed, Today with me in paradise. So bitter yet so sweet. And did she see that in the straw? By his head a thorn And did she smell mud In the air on that starry night And did she hear angels sing Not so far away Till at last the sun in the morning sky. Look at your hands. Who are they for? Have they had a year like this one before? Have they washed and scrubbed and sanitised? Got dry and sore and moisturised? Have they done less work, been at home more? Or have they worked harder than ever before? Have they helped a neighbour, a parent or friend? Have they longed for all these restrictions to end? Have they missed friends, felt too far apart? Have they lost a loved one and clutched at your heart? This Christmas is different. It can't be the same. The world all around us has obviously changed. But the meaning of Christmas, the heart of it all, 
began in a baby, so precious and small, with no glitz or glamour, no parties or feasts. He came for the broken, the lonely, the least. The hands of his earth dad were dusty and worn, hardened by woodwork, but chosen for more. The hands of his mother were softer, but weary, holding her baby, eyes happy, but teary. The hands of the shepherds who visited first were rough and strong and ingrained with dirt. The hands of the angels were lifted in praise to the one we call Saviour, the Ancient of Days. To the babe whose smooth hands, so weak and so small, would one day carry the wrongs of us all. So that every person on earth may know how much they are loved by how far he would go. To rescue, redeem, forgive and restore. To give us the life that we were born for. A life full of meaning, of joy, peace and love. Walking hand in hand with our Father above. So whether your heart is heavy or light, with hands held open or, or screwed up tight, whether they're full or empty or tired, work-worn or restless or uninspired, just know that you don't have to do it alone to carry your burdens and trials on your own. Jesus came to walk by your side, to fill you with hope, to be your guide. Look at your hands. Who are they for? If they take hold of Jesus, they'll need nothing more. We're going to come to a time of prayer together and we're going to do things slightly different uh, in this service. Our prayer is going to be led by our musicians as they sing for us a prayer for Christmas.
as we continue to celebrate the coming of Jesus. Bill's going to lead us uh, in a song. This is the song that he's written. It's entitled, Our Lord and Saviour. close with our Christmas benediction but just to remind you that tomorrow morning from 10 o'clock a Christmas Day service message will be available for you to watch. Uh, thank you for joining with me today and I do look forward to spending some time uh, with you on your YouTube channel uh, over Christmas tomorrow. Do please stay safe but we're going to encourage one another with this Christmas benediction. We've been using it all through Advent together. So as the words are on the screen, will you read with me? May starlight guide your steps towards this place of wonder. May angels sing their news as you travel to the manger. May promise fill these days as we recall a simple birth. And may faith remind us that Emmanuel will soon be with us. God with us now and always. Amen.